All right, today we're gonna to try to create an entire application without writing any bugs. If we write a bug, the video ends. And considering the fact that I don't even know what we're gonna be making today, I think we already know how this video is gonna end. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna create a new Rails app. I'll say Rails new, uh, we'll call it unbuggable. I haven't really put any thought in this. And we'll say dash J will be ES build and dash dash CSS will be bootstrap. And while this is running, we can think about what we're gonna do. So the reason why I want to do this is because people always, well, not everyone, but some people assume that like YouTube creators are these like omnipotent, all knowing beings that are just like God's gift to programming and never make a mistake, mostly because we just edit them out. So I thought this might be a fun way to just go through this as quick as possible and show you how frequently we run into bugs if we just do like a dry run and we're actually working on something. Um, in terms of what we're going to make, uh, um, maybe a, uh, I don't want to do a to-do list cause that's too easy. Let's do like a, a workout app. So I'm going to CD into bug, no, unbuggable is what we called it. And then we'll do our scaffold. So we'll say rails G scaffold. We'll give it a, um, what is it? Like, a, I guess it has a workout and it has exercises, right? So it'll have a workout, a workout will have many exercises. It might have like a name, I guess just so we have something here. Uh, I don't really know anything else you would need here. So for now, I think this is fine. We'll go ahead and we'll run this. Now we'll do a Rails G scaffold for the exercise, which will have a name of type string by default. It'll have a, uh, what did we call it? We called it a workout. So it'll be a workout colon belongs to. It'll have a number of sets. So set will be integer and it'll have a rep, which will be an integer. I don't know, maybe these should be plural, right? Sets and reps. So name workout belongs to sets reps. That all seems fine. We'll go ahead and we'll run that. Now let's do a rails db colon migrate command to migrate the database. And now we can go ahead and we can open this up. So we'll do a code dot and open this up in VS code. So at this point, we should be good to run a Rails S real quick and just see how the server's looking. But from this point on, we need to be very careful because this is where the, the bugs can start to happen. So uh, what we'll do is we'll just set the root of the application to be the workouts uh, controller index action. And I think we get rid of the, no, uh, yeah, we get rid of the colon. See again, like as, as soon as you leave your comfort zone and you don't really think about this stuff, it can become just really scary. All right, so that works. Let's now come into our app and our views and our workouts and our workout index. And inside of here, what we'll do is we'll just wrap all of this in a dot container and then we'll move this down to the bottom. So that should uh, give us a bit of a wrapper there. Let's give this a MT-5, so we have a bit of a margin top. We then have our workouts here, which is fine. Uh, maybe we want our P tag up top though, so it's a bit cleaner. And for our header here, maybe we would want it centered, uh, but centering a div scares me, so we're not gonna do that. Okay, so now we have our new workouts. We create a workout, we say, uh, you know, um, I don't know, t t today's, workout or something and then we'll click create workout and in here ideally we would have a form to create a exercise so inside of our workouts partial i guess is where we would want the form so if we're looking at this we have our workout name and then we would have a uh i guess let's put this all inside of a div again so say dot container i guess uh, but we'll put that in this. So say class is container. And then we'll just save that real quick. Refresh. That seems fine. But the issue now is our shared buttons in our show page are not in a container. So this looks a little bit weird. So we'll say class equals container maybe. I don't know if this looks right, but we'll see. Seems fine. All right. Let's come back to our workout partial. We'll give this a mt dash uh, maybe no, we'll, we'll, we won't give it a margin top. So we have our name and now we need a form. So we're going to want to create a form for the, uh, I guess, form for the 
exercises, right? So this should be a form with uh, and then a model for the uh, what the 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 exercise dot new and I guess uh, let's just hit tab on this. Let's get rid of the local true. We don't. Um, yeah, let's get rid of it. We'll just say exercise dot new. This has a hidden field of the workout ID with a value of the workout ID. That's fine. Uh, but then we want a, uh, form dot, uh, what, what would this be? A form dot, uh, I don't even know, like number, number field. Is that what it is? the sets and we would want a form dot number field for the uh, reps, right? Do that and then we want to do these inside of a label. So we'll say uh, this should be like a uh, uh, form dot label for the, uh, not the workout, the sets, I guess. And then this one will be a form dot label for the reps. And I can already feel myself getting comfortable, so I know we're close uh, to me uh, messing up. So say form control for this, and then we'll maybe do another dot form control, form dash con control for the reps, something like that. And then we'll go ahead and we'll refresh this. And if you're wondering how I messed up here, this needs a end tag. And then as soon as we do that, we then have the ability to add exercises to a workout. So we can say 12 sets of three reps, add the exercise, and now we have exercises being created, which means we can now go back to our workouts. And inside of our uh, actual workout here, we can show what this would look like. If you're interested, I know this isn't really the point of the video anymore. Uh, but if we go into our workout and above all of this, we just do a uh, something like um, uh, workout dot exercises dot each do exercise. And then we just do something like a uh, exercise dot name, put this in a oops, put this in a P tag that and then we can do something like a dot container for example and then we'll just do a um, exercise dot uh, sets uh, sets of exercise dot reps sure and we come down here and we don't forget our end tag this time and then we refresh uh, but our workout needs to has many of our exercises so we'll do that real quick we'll say has many exercises and then we can come over here and refresh and now we can see we have five sets of five reps and 12 sets of three reps for our uh, exercise here and we didn't give it a name inside of our form so that's also not going to work so you'd have to do that at the start here where you have a uh, I guess we can just copy this you would have one of these and you would just replace this with name and name something like that now you'd refresh, you'd say, I don't know, like uh, push-ups. Oops, this needs to not be a number field. This needs to be a text field. So you can see here, even while I'm trying to clean up my mess, I'm still messing up. So we'll say push-ups, uh, three sets of 12 reps at exercise. And now if we go back to our workouts, uh, there you go, you have push-ups, three sets of 12 reps. So that's sort of what I messed up there and what you would need to fix. But hopefully this gives you an idea of just how difficult it is to do all of this stuff blindly without any sort of prep or any idea of what you're doing. Like even the simple stuff you'll mess up on.